Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's 10 to 14 day video update. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for this video. Day 10 takes us to the 25th of October. And uh, we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Exeter GFS and ECM ensembles. May run to around a couple of weeks. Of course, we'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us towards the uh, middle part of November now. And uh, I shall get on that for you in a moment to say we did have a 6 a.m. broadcast today, but it should be coming back with the next few days where we'll be livening up at the weekend and into next week. I think we'll bring the 6M forecast back after that. There may be another video turning up a little bit later on this evening as well. So, what are we waiting for? We're starting winter updates. 6 a.m. broadcast is still to come. We're doing 10 to 14 days. What are we waiting for? Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, let's get on with your trade of all there. So, uh, we're going to start off with later with that from Earth, North School .net, saying the high pressure is dominating the weather. Cat's out of the back there, aren't it? High pressure is dominating the weather <laughs> over the top of the country and around that, bringing the wind from an easterly direction. Oh, we remain with this dirty high, dirty Dirty high for the time being, but it should be on its way out by the weekend. And skies hopefully will start to brighten then. Central in temperature is currently sitting at 12.3. That's 1.8 degree above the one tonight on the average. And it's provisional to uh, yesterday, to the 14th of uh, October then. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Let's go to an exit today, the red line. Is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Exeter? And you can see we remain above average of the upper air temperature at the moment, not necessarily realizing that down on the surface with all this doom and gloom around. Uh, we're going to keep the upper air temperature generally above average through to the last week of the month. A bit of a tumble taking place there and returning closer to average. Precipitation wise, going to be a lot of dry weather to come over the uh, next few days. But as we look on, into the last 10 days or so of October. Well, we might see something uh, rather more unsettled turning up there. We will see something more unsettled turning up there. A lot of precipitation spikes as well. So this is a big change. Be dry spell, prolonged dry spell, running out of road, and uh, some very wet weather could well take us through into the closing uh, week, 10 days of October there. Oh, uh, that's happened again. Oh, but yesterday, didn't you? That's annoying. <laughs> Thank you. Temperature anomalies for the next uh, five days out to 20th October. Uh, round to a little bit above average. 10 to 14 day temperature anomaly. A little bit above average or near normally south. Below average Scotland and Ireland. And the precipitation anomaly for the next uh, seven days to the 22nd of October, dry up and normal, but the 8 to 14 day going closer to average or maybe a bit on wet side. Right, next time go chart days, remember to have a late you can make your run. Look at me die on Saturday, high pressure over the top of the tree, bring a lot of dry weather with high pressure declines into weekend. Low pressure advances in from off the Atlantic, turning cool and unsettled over the weekend. I can't again since high pressure collapsing and declining where it's low. Low pressure takes its place, heading in from off the Atlantic. Tony things unsettled and a big area of low pressure moving in from off the Atlantic there. When we get through towards the middle part of uh, next week, so uh, get rid of one low from the open week, but next low is heading in again. Unsettled conditions very likely next week. High pressure declining on the KMA a weekend. Low pressure taking over. I bet it really is all low pressure all the way uh, as we head up towards uh, day 10. Coming a bit cold as well. Wind switching around into the north, but by 27, we're back under a little risk. That does look actually quite transient. And then we've got GFS midnight. Light run again, declining that high pressure through the weekend into next week. Low pressure takes over, become cool and unsettled as we go through the weekend. And then on into uh, the second half of next week, well, further low pressure, bring further bouts of rain in from off the Atlantic on again. What does look uh, a very unsettled spell of weather. The low pressure then clears away to the east as we go towards the closing days of uh, October with a mid-Atlantic ridge getting going. That switches wind into a colder northerly, and so we end October on a rather chilly looking note with a blocking area of high pressure close to Greenland and Iceland and winds in from the north. Hmm, interesting. Well, what about the GFS 
uh, 6Z. Let's have a very quick look at uh, that one and see what's going on. Uh, so, again, high pressure is de declining and easing away as we go through uh, weekend into next week. Low pressure takes over, bringing bouts of rain in from off the Atlantic as well. Heading into the last weekend of October, it really is low pressure all of the way and we end up looking like that with a reach over into the east country low pressure out to the west very unsettled charts today if you're enjoying the video please you like share and subscribe thank you so much everyone for doing that drop a comment let's know what you think about this sound all of our videos and content and don't forget to tell your friends about gals webbies and get them to subscribe too thank you so much everyone uh for doing that okay gm again no what are we doing Saturday. Let's go here, 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 here. Where are you, Jamie? Okay, GM, that didn't happen. With high pressure going to Chloe Way over weekend, low pressure takes its place. Further bouts of low pressure moving in up to day 10 as well. And by day 10, low pressure going away, introducing a colder northerly flow uh, then. So once again, the gem looks unsettled and turns colder by uh, day 10. And then we get through to the east end. Finally, it's all much of a much here. So high pressure declines over weekend. No pressure takes its place into the start of next week, becoming unsettled and wet, of course, of next week. And then through the middle and second half of next week, we really are seeing further bouts of rain coming in with those areas of low pressure. That gets us to day 10, Saturday the 25th of October. And, uh, well, it looks like a very unsettled pattern there. We've got a trailing weather front all the way through there. And uh, some heavy rain will be heading uh, northwards and eastwards with those areas of low. Beyond day 10, low pressure clears out to the east. We pull down uh, cold and northerly there for Sunday the 26th of October. But we're back under what looks like a transient ridge for uh, months and wind switching back into a milder southerly. So it's a high pressure fighting off and fending off the Atlantic there uh, by the 30th of October, which is quite interesting. Uh, these areas of low pressure coming up against that high pressure look like they're being fended off a little bit. So uh, that's always quite interesting uh, to see. High pressure over the continent blocking areas of low pressure in the Atlantic. But I should say no more than that. And we'll move on to the precipitation forecast. So this is the precipitation forecast based on that each year run from Tibetia.com up to day 10. Going to be further dry weather next few days. But the dry weather is running out of road now. So we're getting to weekend. Band of rain moving in from off now. So bringing lots of wet weather in with it. And then we head on up towards day 10 and further bouts of rain too. Yes, this does look like a spell of very wet weather setting up from the weekend onwards. This is the ensemble table within the ECM ensembles today. Day for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. It gets us to the 25th of October, 51 out of 51 members of the East Hamilton Office, all of them with low pressure in the Northwest Europe, a ridge in the Atlantic, cool air being fed into that area of that low pressure as well, so unsettled and potentially quite cool. And then two in time, these are the options that we've got. Yes, to the 30th of October, 22 members of the East Ham Ensembles have low pressure to the east, high pressure out to the west, and that will switch wind into a cooler or a colder northerly. We've got 12 with low pressure right up top the tree. We've got 11 with low pressure to our southwest, high pressure to the northwest, and then we've got 6 with high pressure building in from off the Atlantic. Most of the options looking unsettled about both day 10 and day 14. CFSB2 finally, but we get things wrapped up. These are 500 middle bar high times break down into week pairs. The first week pair taking us from the 15th to the uh, 21st of October. High pressure is in control. Well, we go through to uh, week two which is going to be the uh, 22nd to 28th of October, with a mid-Atlantic ridge heading up towards Greenland and a trough of low across the north northeast Europe. That switches the wind potentially into a cooler or a colder uh, northwesterly bed. Week 3 <laughs> will be the uh, 29th of October to the 4th of November, with high pressure around Greenland, trough of low to our east. That brings the wind into a cooler or a colder northeasterly and then week four we'll round it all off it's the 5th to be 11th of November with high pressure down towards Spain, low pressure towards Iceland, and we revert back to a milder uh, westerly flow there. So very changeable conditions. 
there's a lot of inch week variation going on. But signs are something a little bit cold, at least for a while, around being turn of the month. Uh, so we shall see on that, and time will tell. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals, so get subscribed to, but you should do that. 25 subscribers gets us to uh, 20.6k. Remember, you can uh, stand by the Gals, whether it's calendar as well. I haven't plugged that in videos a few days, but I really must get back onto that. So if you want a calendar, then uh, we know what to do. 13 pounds for a PayPal account. Links in the description with the video. We'll get calendar out to you. Thanks so much for doing that. Now, there may be a little special video coming up in an hour or so's time. So, watch this space. Sneaky peaky. On the way. Mm, we'll see. You have a great rest of your uh, Wednesday. And this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.